How long do I have to go? Oh my god. So why are we making this video? I'll tell you why. We love food and we've been in Seattle for about six days now and when we came to Pike's Place Market, it was so overwhelming that we were like, so you know things. what, we're going to make a dedicated video <laughs> just to eat and we're going to try a lot of things today. We got to get a coffee. Okay, we're going to get a coffee. <laughs> Morning coffee, let's go. The farmer's market is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily and it's the longest standing farmer's market to be open in the entire United States. So we made it to the bakery of La Panier. I may be butchering that name, but it's French. It's a bakery and they're known for their almond croissants and I'm gonna get a coffee here too. Honestly, what's drawn me in here is just the smell it alone. So good. It's like fresh bakery, you can smell the croissants. Mm, this is a weakness for you too. <laughs> All right, so we got our croissant and our coffee and I asked the lady how to pronounce it. It's Le Panier, which means bread baskets in French. So totally butchered that, but at least we know now. Let's see if this tastes as good as it smells. When we were in line, people just told us to get this and we'd be satisfied, so let me get a big bite in here. Oh my god. Mm. Favorite Croissants thing. are a weakness, <laughs> like a bad weakness. It's so crispy. It's filled with like an almond like sauce like in this inside. We might have to get in line again. And we've had some good croissants in our day, but like, what do you think? I think that's like pretty top tier. I think that's that's the best almond one I've ever had. The best croissant I've ever had was in Italy and it was a pistachio, but I swear to God, this is right up there. This is absolutely delicious. It's like so gooey in the middle. I decided to get my coffee here, but if you do like Starbucks, the original Starbucks is right down the road, but the line is so long. So, I mean, you can't really be a French American. Yogurt is like a part of my every morning breakfast. I like really can't do without it because I love Greek yogurt. And this place is the one that you have to go to. People, a bunch of people recommend it. The one thing that they recommended is try to get the pumpkin if you can, because it's seasonal at this time of year in October. She said they're all out today. So I went with the alma mocha, almonds mocha instead. It's really, really good. If you love Greek yogurt, they just throw all kinds of ingredients in there. I got the walk around size, so we can walk around here. It's about 525 for this size. So, eh, but to me it's worth it. Next, we're getting some mac and cheese at the famous Beechers. Let's go. So Ferris, I know you want this mac and cheese, but it's time for our challenge. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, shoot. <gasps> Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Dude, what is that? <laughs> Whatever, you suck at the Rock, paper, scissors. Every time. Let me get in there. <sighs> Another, Another one. <laughs> Ferris and Lisa, do a headstand for 15 seconds straight. How to do a headstand in public? Do you know how to do a headstand? All right, mac and cheese is definitely up my alley. I'm more of a savory person, so let's try this. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy and gooey. The cheese is just perfection. <laughs> what definitely draws you into this mac and cheese is like right when you're outside of the shop, it draws you into the atmosphere. They're making the cheese right there. They have this huge vat of milk that they're just stirring around slowly and slowly until it curdles. The cheese is just so fresh, so thick. Not like your regular mac and cheese that's like thin. It's no, really like, this is thick. some thick cheese. Like Woo! you put this in the fridge, it's gonna turn into a chunk of cheese. And then mm. they have cheese curds, free samples in lime. You can get a mac or a grilled cheese. We're on the last two little nudes in this thing. And just so you guys know, for a time reference, we've had all this food in probably like 30 to 45 minutes. <laughs> so we got a lot more to do. A lot more to eat. Every place you go to, you just walk down, you're walking, you're walking. Smell that, what's that, head turns, popping. We're gonna go get some chowder, which has been pretty much number one on my list since we've been here. And this place is number one, I say in the world. This was number one mac and cheese. Number one chowder. Let's test it out. So every time they make a sale here, they throw the fish. So they're making a ton of sales right now. <laughs> For here, please. What are you giving me? We're getting a large clam chowder. 
This place is number one. It beats out all the places in New England. As you can see behind me, it's all the first place from, I think the farthest one is 1993. It goes all the way to 2019, so. Here we go. Yeah, that's Wow. Normally, I would say clam chowder is very plain, but this one is just packed with flavor. It is so good. Pretty salty, which I like. I think they put bacon in here. I love salty. I think they put bacon in here, which probably adds to the saltiness. I don't know. My friend ordered a bunch of samplers. Okay. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. Are you excited? Yeah. I used to live here for four years. I come here all the time. Okay. Yeah. Who just stand there? It's just not part of the people in front of them in the line. It's very good chowder. I've been looking for this. Sometimes when it's just cold outside, you need something that's gonna warm you up. As you're walking around, there's a ton of fruit stands. So I got myself an Asian pear. <laughs> a whole pound. A whole pound. This thing was a pound for itself. I think it was like $4.99 a pound. And then he hands me this one. And I'm like, okay, yeah. He's like, yeah, $5. That's $5. I, just paid, I, just paid, I could've got a croissant for this. It is pretty good though. It's like a mix between an apple and a pear. Okay, neither Ferris nor I can do a headstand. So we made it to some grass. <laughs> we're gonna so practice. we're gonna practice real quick. Cause we're gonna try to do a headstand in front of the Pike Place Market. So I definitely can't do a handstand. We're gonna go for a headstand, okay? Are you giving up? I'm gonna attempt five seconds, okay? Five seconds. One, two. All right, stuff's getting serious now. Jacket's off. Let's go, Fair. Oh. What's the plan, Stan? All right, I'm gonna try to redeem myself and do a headstand instead of a handstand right here in front of the market. All right. Will that, will that be good <laughs> enough for you? Let's see what you got, let's see what you got. Go. <laughs> Did I win? Is that worth it? Honestly, I'll do that because you're way better than mine. Good job, good job. I'm a little lightheaded and I need a refreshment. So no better place than Rachel's ginger beer to get a refreshing drink as we continue this food tour and walk around. Mm, just what I needed, a little refreshing. It's really good, it's honestly different. I wasn't sure, I got the original. Just wanted to test it out. It's like a ginger beer with lemon and some other things she said, shake it, shake it. Man, it's refreshing and different and perfect for strolling around. So let's continue this. Just what I needed, just what I needed. <laughs> so this is the first Starbucks behind me. Kind of, sort of, not really. So the first one opened just a few blocks down and then they moved it here, but it is the longest standing one, oldest one. Eating is just like a mindset, I think. Like, you can feel full and be full, but mentally you can always just push yourself to eat more. You can just grind through, continue. <laughs> it's never been a problem for me. It's just a mindset up here. Ferris and I feel like that's why we're dating. We're getting down to the end. Now we're gonna head to Market Grill, which is famous for their fish sandwiches. Super fresh, super yummy. I'm really excited. I'm full, but we can do this. So we got the blackened salmon sandwich. This is what they're most known for. I am so excited. It's warm in my hands and it smells so good. Oh my. No. <laughs> it's blackened salmon. So it's a little bit crispy on the outside. Got some tomatoes, onions on here, lettuce, and like a secret little sauce. But the bread, I think the bread is like artisanal bread. Mm -hmm. I think somewhere from around here. I could smell the bread through the paper. It smelled so fresh. I love today. <laughs> I put some of this hot sauce on it. It's so good, but sometimes hot sauce just gives me like the hiccups randomly. But either way, this is my last bite. Give me two more bites here. You could do this for lunch or dinner. We chose to do this for dinner. So we still got some desserts. 
and we're gonna pack in. <laughs> we are at Poroshki Poroshki. We came here in our last video and we got a cinnamon braid, which was delicious. But I really wanted the poppy seed bun. They were out last time. So let's see if they have one today, because it looks so good. You know what the lady told me actually, the one I gave a hug to? She said, if we eat this, make sure we don't have any random drug tests because there's so much poppy seed in there that it would trigger a positive on a test. But luckily we're just YouTubers, so we don't have any drug tests. Oh my God. <laughs> How happy are you right now? So, dude, this is so warm. And I wanted this yesterday so bad. This is our last item on the tour. Oh my God, let me get into this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so, so good. I have when we came back to try to get this. Oh my God. I don't make that face all the time. Not every food we had today hit me like this. They were all good. Holy Parashki, baby, Parashki. All right, here we go. Get your face in there. Dang, that's so good. Is it better than the croissant? Cool. Let me see. I gotta try it again. Oh, yeah. those are gold shots. They're so oh, they're good. So gold. good. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows, man. Everybody knows. Woo! Our bellies are stuffed. Ferris is still going. <laughs> this food tour, this place, this market, it lived up to our expectations. Oh my god, yeah. I'm gonna finish this off. No, you're not. I am. <laughs> There's still other places around here that are just amazing. We tried to hit the, the spots that like we saw that smelled good, that looked good, had good reviews. If someone on the street said, you gotta go there, we went there. We went there. We did a bunch of eating today. And we're gonna end it on this. So I think it's time, Lisa. Think it's time to end this, this vlog. vlog. Wait, 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 before you go, this is reality of life. And a few hours after we finished our food tour, we're just eating ramen in the van. <laughs> We're just eating more food because that's what we do. I eat. Lisa eats. We love it. We love food. So just subscribe because more is coming. And we're going to be eating ramen sometimes. Reality. Reality hits. Give us a subscribe. I'm going to eat some of these boys.